I, I've seen a lot of people choose the wrong boat because they've based it on this romantic notion, this, uh, this first romantic idea of what they want to do. When choosing your boat, you need to define exactly what you want to do. And then for me, there becomes a hierarchy of needs. So safety becomes paramount. That's, that, that thread must go through every decision and choice. Then I think versatility is really important because if you have a blue water cruising boat, you're going to go to everything that the world has to offer in terms of temperature, weather, um, challenges. And um, once you've answered that, then I think the next one for me would be comfort. You know, when you have to define your project, for me, you just start with safety. Just that's an absolute fundamental. And, um, you know, with, with a boat like this, you have watertight bulkheads, you have a lifting centerboard, which means you have much more control going downwind. You're insulated, you're warm, you're not going to fall great distances, but you get the Garcia benefit of redundancy and reliability and aluminium and drying out. and. Um, uh, and this wonderful pilot house saloon, which kind of brings uh, multi-hull benefits into, into a monohull. And this boat has a couple of levels, so when I'm sitting, I can see out the window, and yet when I'm standing at the galley, I can still see out the window, so these are these different levels, and that's really cool. The biggest thing, I think, is volume, because boats go up in cubes. So although it isn't much longer, it's vast in terms of volume. We would have comfort, you know, we, we would um, take our home with us. So we wanted a double bed, we wanted an ensuite shower, we wanted hot and cold water. When you've defined what you want to do and you've gone through this journey of, of safety, redundancy and comfort, what you have is a vehicle of dreams. And, and, and I think in, in many ways, I think when you buy a blue water cruising boat, that's what you're doing is you're buying a dream. But a dream can go in any direction, and this is where the visit versatility allows you to adapt to what you find is best for you. That's why it's worth having a boat that's versatile, because then you can change and you can adapt. But um, dreams are what fuel life. I mean, if you don't have dreams, then I think you're destined to a very bored life. So dream, dream, and then act on it, you know, do it. You know, life is a very short thing, so don't waste it.